Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here today, and I am actually deciding to redo the GUI calculator series um, that I did quite a while back because I did it very in a very bad way, and and there's a lot of conventions that I did not follow. So this is just a remake because I don't want to be teaching anyone the wrong things to do and that's exactly what I was doing in the other video so this will be a lot better and a lot faster probably so to get started let's just make a new class well make a project first and then make a new class and we'll just call this calculator alright so to get started let's just make a main method public static void main string args and in this main method we're going to create a new jframe the jframe frame equals new jframe and we'll make the title um, calculator now we want to do that we want to set uh, we need to do we need to do frame dot set default close operation jframe dot exit on close just so that um, when you close the window the program terminates and then frame dot set uh, oh, what am I doing set resizable to false if I can spell resizable right sizable there we go um, frame dot set layout new border layout so basically what this is going to do is we're going to have a layout and this board layout allows us to center um, our panel on the screen. So we'll do frame dot add new calculator um, border layout dot center dot center. So this is just going to add um, an instance of this class. Um, so to fix that error, we got to make calculator extend um, not not extends calculator extends J panel so basically this class will be a J panel and then we won't get that at error anymore because we're adding a J component to our J frame now what we need to do is frame dot pack to set the size of the frame to the size of the panel uh, frame dot set location location relative to null, so this will center our frame on the screen, and then frame dot set visible to true. So that should create a frame. Um, so if we run this right now, we'll just get a really tiny frame um, because we haven't set the size of the calculator. So let's just get that started. Public calculator, um, and we're going to create two variables. Um, width and height so our width is going to be let me think I think uh, 320 will do um, and our height is going to be 480 so what we're going to do is we're going to set our preferred size to a new dimension, dimension, width, and height. Um, import that, and that should set the size to be about the size of a calculator. Um, and one final thing before I go, we just got to add a um, serial version UID serial version version UID this is just another Java convention so in this tutorial we basically um, we basically created the window and we added a panel to the center of the screen um, so that that was basically it that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to keep these videos pretty short um, in the next video I'm probably going to work on 
the grid bag layout for the panel which allow us to make certain sizes of different things and that'll be very useful for us so um, I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe